What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial was supposed to be out a week ago. I'm very sorry. So I'm sure that a bunch of you guys know that a lot of people have released their albums in the past week or so. That includes Drake, Kanye, Tekka, a couple of other artists, and also this guy Prince Dre, he just released his album and I just found out that I have a song on his album that I um, co-produced with somebody from a loop that I made like two years ago too, which was out of nowhere, but it's really cool. But um, yeah, it's track number 15 back to back, but y'all can go check that out later. That's besides the point. So basically for this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to make the really ambient digital kind of style of beats that Tekka wrapped on. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty y'all, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tempo up. Um, I already got the tempo set to uh, 169 BPM. And as you can see, I have Electro X open. In Tekka's album that he dropped, I was listening through it and I kind of noticed he wasn't really limited to like a certain sound or like a certain style. He was pretty versatile with a lot of the stuff that he did. For example, in the beats that he chose to rap on, like there were some that were ethnic, there were some that were like kind of a rage style, and there were, of course, some that were like, you know, melodic, ambient, and like had that more digital sound. So I'm gonna kind of go for like the digital sound and the more ambient kind of style of beat. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get a root note. And I just want to make a chord progression. Copy and paste this over here, but then we'll shift that down to A. It's a nice melodic chord progression. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add these things called inversions. That's basically when you take a note, say this A sharp for instance, and you want to, you know, do an octave displacement on it, maybe shift it up an octave, shift it down an octave. But you basically just want to mess around, mess with the inversions of some notes, you know, see if you can create like a different and unique vibe. So now let's move on to our secondary melody. So what I want to do is I want to clone Electra X again. Go to a Reese. I want to just get some little embellishments down. We're gonna to go to vocal runs too and get some some vocals. We have our vocals down. Let's go to Fruity Reverb. Let's go and record the vocals and everything. Okay, we're gonna export that. Um, We'll cut it right on beat. Let's reverse this. Let's raise that up. Now 
Much better, much, much better. Okay. All right, so now we're just gonna get the drums down. How gotta think of this? Just think of internet money kind of solid drums. They're pretty simple, so it should be easy. So that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial. That is how you make a little techno kind of style of a beat. Hope that you guys enjoyed and hope that you guys learned something as always. Um, let me know what you guys liked about this, what you guys didn't like about this, what do you think that I could improve on. But that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. You guys can listen to the full beat right now. Yep, it's 1.19 a.m. I need to get to bed. So I'll catch you all very soon. But that's about it for me. I'm out. Thank you.